Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us today. Um, my name is Louise Hopkin. I am the owner of The Space Reclaimers, which is a home organization service, and also a member of the 2017 Hello Life Academy. So um, Megan and Tyler and them asked me to jump on and talk to yourselves, the 2018 Hello Life Academy members. So welcome and congratulations. It's such a good decision that you've made to come on board, and um, it has been a awesome awesome year for me um, and Merry Christmas I know it's um, past Christmas but I hope everybody had a great time and managed to stay warm and this is why I've got my granny sweater on today uh, it's a little chilly out there but that's okay we survived so um, I am jumping on today to talk to you about um, keeping yourself organized um, in the office um, and also uh, to try and um, remember to keep things simple and not get overwhelmed with so many different things and thinking that we need to um, have everything all, all at once and all these different um stuff in your life I guess so um, yeah so that's what I'm going to talk about and hopefully uh, you know you'll get some good information out of it and um, I will be around I have a client in the morning but if you have any questions just pop them in the group and um, I'll, I'll get back to them as soon as possible cool so I kind of titled this uh, Keeping It Simple, um, which I really like, right? That's kind of one of my big philosophies is minimalist, um, keeping things minimal, um, not overwhelming us with so much stuff. So 10 tips I like to kind of give people for getting organized um, is organized on a regular basis, you know, like make it a top priority because really you know the benefits of it, um, you know how it affects us, um, you know, if you walk into an office that has um, stuff everywhere, paperwork everywhere, you can't concentrate and you're just not going to be working to your um, best uh, productive self, if that makes sense. Um, so really make it a priority. It, it is it's super, super important because that brought, your brain likes um, – it, it, it likes to have a clear area, right? It, it works better in a simple, calm area um, and you will be more productive. So that's what I was trying to say. Um, shrink your stuff. So this is going from a minimalist point of view. Um, you know, you don't need really to have a lot of stuff in your office. Um, you can get by with the basic stuff, stuff and, um, you know, you will use different systems, different software, and the Hello Life Academy actually recommends um, the ones to use. So I think just stick with that and it makes life less complicated and work to your, um, how you like to work. So I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later because um, we're, all, we're all different and some of us are visual, some of us are emotional, some of us are um, auditory, tactile kind of learners. So that actually comes into organizing as well and how we like to see things. Um, downsize regularly. So if you can see stuff is starting to build up, you know, put it in your calendar once a month um, to put aside half an hour or 40 minutes to really go through and recycle that stuff and say, do I really need this? Reorganize your systems. Um, you know, then keep your system simple. Keep it super, super simple. You don't need to get, you know, uh, a lot of people can, they'll organize something, say your filing system, and then they'll kind of had, have categories Subcategories, subcategories, like they'll just keep categorizing. You don't need to do that because it's just going to get overwhelming for you. And you might have one bit of paper in one category, which, you know, seems a waste of space, right? So um, really uh, do that. Just my son uh, checking in on me. Um, and another really cool idea is to color code email based on the sender because uh, we do get a lot of emails, right, from different people. So you can say red for um, one certain sort of like clients emailing you and then you can say uh, pink for Hello Life Academy um, emails, you know, that kind of thing. 
Um, limit distractions. So when you're in your office, just try and um, limit your distractions and just have uh, turn off the TV, let your, um, well, depending what you're doing, but let your voice at your phone go to voicemail. If you have a project to work on, just focus on that and set aside, um, you know, whatever you think for that project, but be realistic. Just say, okay, I have uh, half an hour to set aside for this. Stick to it and, um, you know, don't have your Facebook up, don't have Instagram, that kind of thing. So then you have that, you're just focusing on that one thing because that's where it happens, right, is when we get distracted. Um, so I've kind of said carve out time to clean the clutter. So uh, basically make an appointment with yourself to organize, right? Like um, it's like, again, like I said, it's super, super important. Just make that time, make an appointment, put that into your calendar and stick to it and say, I am going to um, declutter or go back and check in on my systems, right? And make sure they are working for me. Um, so like I said, um, create a simple system for your home office and office mail. So organize your mail daily and um, give yourself very limited options. So such as file, toss, do and delegate. Um, maybe those titles don't work for you, but just keep it to like a category for four titles. So you're not like something is, you don't have a maybe pile or don't have a you know, an in-between kind of pile that just really confuses you and just kind of overwhelms you and kind of builds up. Um, for some people, uh, you know what, I think you can see in the background there, I actually have sticky notes. Um, that's how I work. I love to write. I write in journals actually and I have uh, journals for everything. That's just how it, it works for me. But I also use the computer. Um, but sticky notes, to ha they can help you stay on track. And I do have sticky notes on my desk, and then that will be how I uh, how I work. Um, I mean, every again, everybody's different, but just trying to keep it simple. Because sometimes if we try and keep things in our computer, then in our phone, and then everywhere, and it's still hard to keep track of that. Um, double up on tasks. So if you can, try and do more than one thing at a time. So when I say that, um, if you're taking, uh, this is kind of not in your office, but if you're taking the kids to, uh, maybe not right now, but soccer practice or something like that, if you're sitting in the car, send some emails. So you have, you're still being productive in that time. Um, create a document hotspot. So in your office, um, have a hotspot so you know that's where all your urgent stuff is, that's where all your stuff is that you need to deal with straight away. Um, another thing I like to talk about is paper control tips. So uh, keep track of monthly business and personal expenses by labeling a file folder or an envelope with the month. You can just throw in the receipts. Um, and all of your expenses will be neatly organized when you do your accounting at the end of the month. So I hope Lisa uh, Robinson agrees with that, but maybe not. But that's actually how I do it. I use just my um, blue box here with receipts. And then at the end of the month, I'll actually uh, move them from there to my drawer with the file, hanging file. Again, keeping it really, really simple. Um, and another thing that this is kind of, I guess this is for visual people, uh, move the tape on your hanging files to the same side. So all left or all right. It's just pleasing, more pleasing on the eyes and easier to see your categories. You want everything to be quick and easy, right? So because if it's not, you won't do it. And then that's when you start causing um, disorganization for yourself. Uh, redo a filing system by first making a list of all your file headings. So analyze, delete, combine, and add as necessary. Um, I recommend doing this first on paper. I know this seems like a lot of effort for your filing and stuff, but it's like, it's, it's really, again, it's, it's keeping a system, keeping it simple. So you will do it regularly. Um, you know, do as much as you can electronically. Uh, you know, if you're, so I'm thinking kind of everything, you know, if you have bills, um, get them sent to you electronically. Uh, when you're speaking to clients, you know, I've had some clients that will have a journal for each client that they talk to on the phone. 
uh, try and do that electronically. Uh, like um, Megan will recommend um, Evernote, uh, use that. Um, and then just type the information there and then your voice got it. Um, okay, so eight steps to an organized desk. So um, what I suggest is remove everything from your desk. Uh, you know, take, as, take it all off and then put it back and rearrange by priority what you really need to have on your desk. Um, you know, sometimes we have a lot of extra stuff and, you know, if you can keep your pens in a drawer, um, I have these great Ikea, the rubber ones that has the sections in it, you can cut it to size um, and then keep it as decluttered as possible. Um, and again, I guess this is, you know, you could either go one way, you can go Evernote or um, like I said, I am I like to write things. So you can keep a spiral notebook on top of your desk for, for messages and phone notes. Um, write your voicemail messages in it and delete them from the system. So again, that's kind of old school, um, but it works for me. Um, so open up your planner or turn, uh, open up your planner and place it on your desk. Um, use it to keep track of to-dos, follow-ups and ideas. Um, keep office supplies in one drop only. If you have any excess, uh, if you have some shelving or some cupboards, you can put them in there. Uh, sort through your desk files. So keep your desk drawers only with files that you use weekly or those that are personal or confidential. Any other files that you have that are past that, um, store them uh, in another storage area or have them in a box. Um, if you have a closet that you have your office and a bedroom, put them in there. Um, you you know, be quite, t you don't really need to keep a lot of filing. Uh, if it's business expenses, you need to keep them, I think, for seven years in Canada. Um, but I find that I'm actually, myself, I can get a lot of it, um, I can shred a lot of it, or I have it on the computer. Um, place your computer at a 90 degree angle on your desk and keep your desk work surface clear of everything except essentials and your current projects. So kind of what I said before. So um, just keep it really clear and have um, just what you're working on and what you need. Um, set up a system for active files either in a step file sorter um, or in your file drawer. So sort your paperwork into it. Do consider... Um, so into categories, do consider a waiting answer, file, hold, read and refer. Okay, so they're kind of categories I put into. Um, but what I really like is at the end of the day, each day, build it into your schedule and take 10 minutes to keep your desk organized. So place tomorrow's top priority project in the center of your desk. Um, and then that's the next thing you're working on for the next day. So again, that goes back to kind of thinking and planning what you're doing um, for the next day. Um, so another uh, kind of idea, um, and this is kind of going into more uh, visual sort of, um, I suggest rotate visual inspiration. So if you have quotes or if you have pictures on your walls, um, you want to rotate them and keep that as interesting as possible. So if you're a visual person, um, this will keep you inspired, right? Um, we like going into environments that's where we're working um, to be inspirational for us and to feel, uh, you know, that we're in a comfortable place that we enjoy that is pretty as well, right? Um, yeah, and, but I'm saying when pictures don't have too many, um, clutter just overwhelms our brain and we just can't function as well as we would. Um, another idea I suggest when helping people organize their offices um, is do an accessibility survey. So uh, take a peek and things that you use daily are on top of your desk. So I know I say keep it to a minimum, but there shouldn't be too many things that you use daily, right? Um, the things that you use several times a week, um, have them in a drawer on your desk or a close by location. So you could have shelves like I have here as well. Uh, once a month filing cabinet. 
Um, so have a filing cabinet and then um, if you're only using those once a month, place, place that paperwork in there. Things that you use just a few times a year, uh, keep them in a filing cabinet, um, perhaps down the bottom drawer because just less accessible area, right? Not prime uh, real estate space if possible. Uh, really or never, archive them, right? Because you don't need them. Uh, you don't need that taking up space. Um, so another idea is desk surface. Um, so what I suggest is say you are currently, you have a, um, a desk where it is overwhelming you at the moment and so you're trying to get into that, um, get it organized. Um, an idea or what I say is divide uh, into four quadrants. And this is um, kind of like, you know, some people have paperwork piled up and then they'll have other stuff kind of um, not, doesn't necessarily be related to their business. And when they look at their desk, they just get so overwhelmed. So I, you know, you guys might not be like that or you could be. So hopefully this will help you. So, so sorry, divide into four quadrants um, and then work in the quadrant one first, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Um, you may not do it all at the same day. Uh, you know, allow yourself the 20 minutes to do it because this is where people get stuck, right? And they're so overwhelmed and they um, will just keep procrastinating and won't do it. But if you divide it into the four quadrants, your mind is like, ooh, okay, I can do this. This is just one section, one small section. Easy, I can get that done. Um, and then um, desk drawers. So then go into your desk drawers and then organize um those next um so like if you have a stationary drawer um a junk drawer which we usually all do have right and then any other visible services surfaces sorry uh so like on the top of your shelves or these kind of shelves here um go through and do that that section and then the next set will be books um and reading material so this is kind of suggesting different sections to go through and we're grouping like um, items together um, so that means if you have books so when I say books um, you might have books that are relevant to your work somewhere else group them all together obviously go through them if you don't need them then uh, donate them so I think that's a really good idea um, prioritizing so prioritize your time um, this is really hard when you first start out, right? Because we're trying to do so many different things. Um, but this is something you really need to take control of. So control when making uh, commitments, such as booking appointments, accepting invitations, attending meetings, um, signing your kids up for activities and socializing. So really think about what is important to you and your family. Do you have time to do it? What are you going to get out of that? Um, and then choose what you actually sign up for. Um, and like I said before, prioritize decluttering your office just like you would your home. Um, it's super, super important because you're spending so much time there. You want to be focused. And like I said, your brain loves order. It just works so much better when you have things in order. Um, create daily routines and weekly plans. Um, discuss them with the members of the household and learning to say no to unimportant activities. So again, same thing is, um, you know, you need to learn to say no. Uh, it, it's not um, that you are trying to say, not that you're, you know, don't feel bad if you say no to people that you can't do something because it's about you and your family and keeping your life, you know, minimalist as well, right? So it goes not only into stuff, but it's also about creating the priorities in your life and um, choosing what's important to you and your family and what's going to help your business grow. Okay. Um, and that's, sorry, that's why daily routines and weekly plans are huge, right? For, and that's where you can, again, I say at the end of the day for 10 minutes, um, reorganize your office, but also include 10 minutes to work out what you're going to do for the next day. Okay, super important. You know, even if you just schedule it in and say, I'm spending half an hour doing this, and this is where I'm having lunch, this is where I'm doing this. And, and again, I write it out actually. 
I just love paper, but I do still have it um, electronic as well. Um, so prioritizing tasks. So by creating and clarifying goals, uh, staying focused and prioritizing and managing tasks, uh, we clear our calendars of clutter and spend time with intention. So same thing again, um, kind of like uh, tasks. So um, don't clutter your calendar with all this stuff. Again, keep it simple. Um, if something doesn't get done that day, move it to the next day and it becomes the top of the list. Um, and then, you know, you don't feel so stressed about it and so overwhelmed. Um, but by clarifying goals and staying focused, it's a big one because it gives you that sight. It gives you something to aim for. You know what you're working to towards towards the end. It's like when we're decluttering because and nobody really enjoys doing it, but if you have a goal and you know why you're decluttering, then you're more likely to reach it and to push through because you know the benefits of it, right? Uh, flexibility. So you know what? We can plan as much as possible. Um, life gets in the way and it happens but this is where it helps if you have kept things simple don't have a, a, a an abundance of stuff it won't be as stressful right so um you know when say and that's something like a toddler has a meltdown or a tantrum in the middle of the day and you have to deal with them right you can't ignore them um or a health challenge um brings a you know a shift in priorities um, which which does definitely does definitely happen, um, but again, you know I, I know I keep saying it and I'm trying not to, but it's just you know keeping it simple, um, and then when things like that do go out of control, it's not going to be as overwhelming. Um, so uh, which is kind of hard. The next one I put down here was turn off the tech, but. Not always easy, right? Because we are we're on our computer a lot and we're doing our Facebook. But um, you need to take back control of your time. So you need to know when to turn off that tech. Um, when I did my business uh, plan um, in Evernote, which Megan may have already got you guys to do, I um, my uh, life uh, part of it said um, turn your phone off between five to eight. Did I always do it? <laughs> Not really. But um, I try to, and I try to keep that as much of a priority as possible. So it was there in the back of my mind, um, and that's what I wanted to do, was turn my phone off between 5 and 8, so I'm not always on that right, and I'm focusing on my family, and I'm spending that time with them. Um, so again, once you have prioritized and made a commitment to the task, give it your full attention um, to ensure it is carried out productively and enjoyably as possible. Uh, again, that goes back to when I said, um, you know, turn off your uh, TV. Uh, you know, one thing I actually really like doing is having music on. And that's me, how I work. That actually keeps me focused um, because I don't really look at anything else. So when you're focusing on a task, uh, turn off Facebook, turn off every, every notification so you're not like looking at everything going ping ping on your screen. Uh, turn it off and then focus on that one project you're doing. Um, and that's another thing you could do as part of your daily routine, having set times to deal with emails and calls. Um, it helps you get on with the activities you've prioritized, but it also helps to manage other people's expectations so they know roughly when you're going to reply to them. They know, so we say, you know, I'll say, I get back to, I'll get back to you within 24 hours um, and it'll be at such, between such and such time, but they start learning when that is coming. Um, and I think that's just really super important. Um, and another thing I got here, uh, sorry, I have a little bit of time, um, grading your priorities. So time, uh, how long will the activity or task take? Do I have time for that? So these are questions to ask yourself. Is there a deadline? When you write it all down, you get a much better idea of what can be done at a particular time. So be really realistic about how much time you will need. Okay. Um, and then importance. Which tasks or activities are most important and why? 
So ask yourself that. And um, again, I think at the end of the day, take a look at this and plan it for the next day. Uh, it might seem a little bit consuming, but you will be more productive if you do this. Um, and so which tasks are most important? Why? So sorry, this is a matter of personal relevance to you. Um, you may decide to look at the consequences um, of not completing the task or attending the activity to rank order. Okay. Um, exertion, concentration required. So consider how much energy or concentration each, ta each task or activity will require. Uh, you know, for me, I really, really like doing things in the morning. Um, so I will actually get, if there's anything that I need to really concentrate and focus on um, and to get that out of the way, I'll do things in the morning. Um, and then the afternoon will be kind of more um, if I have to go run errands or something like that. So I try and plan everything. Uh, you know, if I'm doing errands in the afternoon, I'll work it that I'll end up back around to pick up myself from school. Um, so, and yeah, like, uh, you know, I don't like doing exercise um, really late at night. So I won't book anything late at night. So, you know, just try and think about how you work and what's good for you. So, uh, and another one I say is worst first. So in conjunction with pr the, the uh, previous considerations, um, grade your list of tasks and priorities by order of enjoyment. Um, then decide if you should tackle your least favorite job first or build up to it by tackling some of the easier chores. So again, personal preference um, for me, you know, um, and I try, I, I will procrastinate with some things that I don't like doing. I mean, we all do it. Um, maybe I will say I usually leave my worst jobs to last because I feel better when I can tick off um, two or three tasks. I'm like, sweet, I've got that done. Now it's time for that. <sighs> okay, I need to get this done. And then it just um, makes me feel better. So yeah, so that's how I deal with that grading your priorities. Um, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. I hope that was uh, useful. Um, and you know, it's really interesting. I'm actually starting to learn um, about um, organizing for people, people's um, uh, personalities. Um, and it's kind of called the processing modalities chart that I have. So it helps us. So if you're a visual person, um, you take in the environment and objects and you please, uh, you value a pleasing visual environment. So for you, you would like to have some decor in the office, which I actually do have as well. And I have pictures of vacations because for me, it's very, very pleasing to see that. And it makes me happy. Okay. Um, and use you charts, symbols, or images. So that's kind of when we're working. Um, auditory uh, focuses by listening. So you appreciate sound of music. So perhaps you have music on in the background because you, that helps you focus. Uh, kinesthetic, I think I said that right. Um, so that helps you, um, has spatial, spatial, ooh, gee, I can't say that, can I? Understanding floor plans, maps, distances. So you like to have a, um, maybe sometimes you will place something a little bit further because you actually have to get up and get it. And that's because you prefer to move right? Um, because kinesthetic is moving, engaging the whole body. So you can actually plan that and purposely plan it further away. So you will stand up and get it because your body needs a break, right? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, tactile. So um, you may need to have a pad beside you because you need to do some doodling while you're thinking because that's just how you are. Um, so that could be really important for you because that's how you think and um, uh, uh, process things. Um, so the last one I'll just say is uh, taste and smell. So you like aromatherapy uh, or flowers. Um, so you're actually, the smell will actually help you focus and concentrate in your office. So these are really, um, you know, it's quite interesting, but it's, it's um, might seem like simple things, but you know, add that into your office add that into your, um, so you can help uh, make you feel comfortable and productive during the day. So 
Um, that is kind of it. Um, so I hope that was um, useful. Um, it's kind of a, like I said, I, it's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, send me um, a question. You can send me um, here in the comments or um, you can PM me anything if, and um, I'm happy to answer. Like I said, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, so I really hope that was helpful. Um, you know what? And uh, I know I've said it enough, but I can't stress enough. Just keep things simple. Um, you know, don't overwhelm yourself with thinking you need all the latest things. And um, like I said, Hello Life Academy will recommend software. Um, if something new comes out, don't jump on board and try it. And I mean, this is my personal opinion, right? I don't do that. Um, I just have the two or three software. I just use uh, like the the Evernote and you know what I was using QuickBooks um until Lisa said no don't use that here just use this um other system so now I actually just use an Excel spreadsheet um but yeah anyway that's um we all are different but I hope you got some tips out of that guys um now I'm just kind of rambling so I better go and um uh yeah have a fantastic New Year's Eve and um yeah uh and that is it, I guess. Um, so take care, everybody. Speak to you later. Bye.